Welcome back. This is Mr. Atkins, one of the gear up coordinators in the state of Indiana. Uh, today we have another little at home experiment that you can do with little brothers or sisters or cousins, aunts, uncles, parents, uh, whoever's around during this extended um, digital learning time that we have for the end of the school year. So thanks for joining in and watching. Today's quite simple. We have a very simple experiment you can do at home and a little discussion you can have with your family and friends about what's going on here. So I have some sharpened pencils and I have a little quart plastic baggie filled with water. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put pencils through the baggie and see if we can get all five pencils through the baggie without making a mess. So my oldest son here, Cole, is going to hold this for me while I uh, push them through and then we'll have a little conversation about why this does or does not work. So, give it a shot. That's number one. That one went through nice and smooth. I heard it pop to go through the one side and then pop to go through the second side. There's not any kind of drips of water coming out or anything right now. Let's try number two. Go through one side, through the other side. We have two in there now. Let's take a third one here. The pencil is a little wet on this side, so it's definitely going through the water and coming all the way out. Try another one here. I'm going to go this way with it this time. That way I get my son wet if it works if it doesn't work all right there's four let's try another one down here on the bottom five so what I have right now is a baggie full of water five pencils through it um, nothing yet has come out it hasn't even hasn't even dripped so let's go ahead and keep seeing what's going on here I ran out of pencils, but I do have two pens. Give it a shot, let's find out. Seems to work fine. One it's all the way through. Take another one here. That one's all the way through. I'm running out of stuff to put through this bag. Oh, it's leaking. Oh, it's dripping a little bit, huh? From the pen. From the pen? Yeah. So I wonder if there's a difference between a pencil and a pen, or maybe the bag is just getting too weak. Um, I don't know. So pause the video, discuss with anyone else you're watching this with, why is the baggie not letting water loose with the pencils through it? I feel like when you, pop, when you shove a pencil through it, it should pop, or it should create some kind of hole in the bag where water is definitely going to leak. Obviously, if we pull a pencil out, it's going to come through the hole that's been created. Unless it's a magic baggie. That'd be pretty cool. So, I also have a balloon here. Let's try the same thing. Out of curiosity. Plastic baggie made out of polymer. Rubber balloon, or a, a birthday balloon made out of rubber. So, Cole, hold that up there for me. I'm gonna steal one of these pencils out of here. Oh, All right, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to start going through and see what happens. Well, that didn't seem to work very well. There's still a little... So go ahead and pause the, pause the video, discuss why the baggie didn't but the rubber balloon did break. I'll give you just a minute. Okay, so now that you're back, you've paused the video, you've looked at it, you've talked about it, you've thought about it, let's get through the discussion of why. So, the why is always the fun part. A rubber balloon, obviously made out of rubber, um, is very elastic. It has when it when it's blown up with water or air, it's expanding, and the molecules in that balloon are being pushed apart from each other. 
as soon as you create a point of weakness, like right here in the side, once you put a pencil through that um, point, as soon as you create that point of weakness, it just goes through. If you've ever seen a balloon pop in slow motion, it's quite cool because the whole balloon just seems to like disappear out of the way and the water just sits there for a second and then it falls. So if you haven't ever seen that, uh, Google that, watch that somewhere, see what it looks like. Now, on the other hand, a plastic baggie is made out of polymer. Polymer molecules are very tight and once you once the hole is created around the polymer, as soon as it as soon as it buckles in there, as soon as it pencil goes through, thank you, hold that for a second. As soon as that happens, the pen, the molecules of the um, polymer squeeze to the pencil and will not let water between there. If you have a ripped pencil or if you have um, the front side of the pencil is bigger than the back side, it won't quite work because the hole is going to be a different size. But all the pencils I used are all the same size all the way through, nice straight cylinders. So give this uh, little experiment a shot at home. Show your family and friends. Uh, maybe even use use it as a little trick against some against one of your uh, siblings. Where say, hey, look, hold this balloon. Push this through there and see what happens. And it'll pop. Maybe get them a little bit wet. So as then the weather gets nicer, we can do more fun things like that. So um, thank you for watching. And come back to the YouTube channel and check out some of our other videos from other coordinators and myself. Uh, that'll be uploaded in the coming weeks. Thanks.